Hi guys, welcome back to our mobility session with myself, Laura and Tess. Today we're going to be going through a shorter session for you to follow. Um, we are still going to focus on each stretch for about 30 seconds, um, so we're not going to rush through this one. We'll just take our time, um, around about 10 to 15 minutes for this stretch today. So we'll start with feet hip width apart and we'll just reach our hands over our head, grab hold of your left wrist and you're going to pull it over to your right side. So hold it here. Thinking about separating your rib cage. Using that right hand to pull your left arm over. Well done, that's it. Keep lengthening that side of your body. Five more seconds. Two. One, and we'll change sides. Same again, grab hold of your right wrist, pulling it over with that left arm. Try and keep your left, your right arm straight. Again, pulling that rib cage apart. Well done, another 10 seconds here. Excellent, okay, bring it back to the middle. Link your fingers together, push them up towards the ceiling and we're just gonna take it back slightly. Look up towards your hands. If you struggle with overhead mobility, like myself, try and keep your arms locked out. I'm thinking about leaning slightly back. Opening those shoulders up. Two, one, and we'll just take it forward. So facing your palms towards your face. Bring your arms about shoulder height. Drop your head down. I'm thinking about pulling your shoulder blades apart. Is it really lengthening the shoulders? Excellent, another five seconds here. Two, one, well done. And we'll take the arms behind your back. Lock the fingers together and we're just going to lean forward. Let those arms fall down towards the ground. So let your head hang down here. Good, let the arms fall a little bit further if you can. Keeping them locked out. Another five seconds. Three, two, one. Release your hands, bringing them down to the ground. Place them just in front of your feet. And then we're gonna think about swinging side to side, so sweep your hands to your right foot, and then nice and slowly back around to your left. Thinking about pushing your heels into the ground, sending the hips back, keeping the legs locked out nice and straight. Well done, five seconds. Three, two, one. Bring it back to the middle. And we'll just take the walk the hands out in front into a down dog position. So bring the feet together and then pushing both heels into the ground. I'll show you from the side. So keeping the legs locked out again. Heels down. Then we're gonna take one foot arch it up and we'll just pedal the feet one at a time. Nice and slow. Again, thinking about pushing that heel down into the ground. So it arching up one foot at a time. Let's keep pedaling side to side. 10 more seconds here. Three, two, one, well done. Plant both feet down to the ground. Then we're going to bring our le right leg up to meet your hands. 
and drop that back knee down to the ground. So into a hurdler stretch here. So thinking about sending those hips down towards the floor. Don't let your, your front knee track over your toes, okay? So you want to keep them just over your ankle. If you want to make this a deeper stretch, you can lift your knee off the ground and then sink those hips into the floor. Well done. From here, we'll just take the front leg, take it vertical across your body, so into a pigeon pose. Thinking about still sending those hips down towards the ground. If this feels comfortable in this position, let's stay here. Or you can fold over that front leg, taking your chest down nice and low. This is a great stretch for if you're stre um, sitting all day. Let's hold it here a little bit longer. And five more seconds. Excellent. Release that leg, take it back to meet your left leg and we'll switch sides. So bringing your left foot up towards your hands into a hurler stretch. Again, if you can, bring your chest tall and sink those hips into the ground. Then for a deeper stretch, lift that back knee off the ground and sink those hips down. Well done, let's hold it here. Five more seconds. Two, one, well done. Taking this front leg into pigeon pose. So your lower leg is vertical to your chest. And drop those hips down. They say if this position is comfortable, chest tall, stay here. If you want a deeper stretch, leaning over that front leg. Okay, let's hold it here. Take those hips down further if you can. Three, two, one, and relax there. We'll just come and sit onto our bottom. And then if you bring your feet together, so you can bring them in as close as you can. If they're out here, that's absolutely fine. Bring them in whatever's comfortable for you. And all we're going to do is taking one arm, your left arm up above your head and leaning over to your right side. Thinking about keeping your sit bones on the ground. So you might be just in this position, that's fine. Go as far as you can go and you should feel this down the side of your lower back. Keep leaning into that position. Three, two, one, and let's change sides. Taking the right hand up and leaning over. Good, if you can't feel this down in your lower back, thinking about leaning forward slightly, you might feel that a little bit more, or just trying to lean that little bit further every time. Well done everyone, bringing that arm back down. Let's take our legs out straight. So again, if you can't straighten the legs out, you can have a slight bend in your legs, whatever feels comfortable. And we're just gonna turn our torso to our right side and are gonna lean down towards that foot. Aiming to get your chest as close to your thigh as possible. Let's hold it here. So keep breathing all the way through this. Three, two, 
one let's move on over to your left side again turning that torso and leaning down towards that foot so relax your kneecap feel it right in the back of your leg Five more seconds, two, one, bringing it to the middle and let's just lean forward down to the middle. If you think about bringing your belly button towards the floor and stretch it out. So it relax both of those kneecaps, go as far as you feel comfortable. Three, two, one, and slowly return back to sitting. Well done, everyone. Okay, now we're going to take it lying back. So if we lay back, keep your legs straight, and we'll take our right leg straight up into the air. Grab behind, just behind your knee, and thinking about pulling that leg towards your chest. If you need to bring this knee up, to make it a little bit more comfortable, go for it. Or if you want a deeper stretch, keep them both legs straight and then pull down towards you. And then slowly release that leg, changing sides, bring on the left leg up straight. Grab behind your knee if you can and pull it towards you. If you can move your hands up further, grab hold of your calf and pull that down towards you. Excellent, release that leg slowly back to the floor. One last stretch, we'll just flip over onto our stomach. So hips are down, lying face down to begin with. Have your hands on your shoulders and you're just gonna push up nice and slow. If you can't lock your arms out in this position, you can take it down to your elbows. You wanna feel that stretch in your lower back and your abs. So looking up to the sky and then we'll bring it back down and look towards your right foot. So twist around, thinking about pushing your left hip into the ground and turn into your left side. Let's push that right hip down and bring it back to the middle and that is you guys done thank you very much for joining us again and um, we'll see you again soon thanks Woo.